Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm here to talk to you about an amazing app called Centorial. So what is Centorial? Centorial is an innovative and straightforward approach to learning sound design on synthesizers. You learn through a guided lesson path, which includes quizzes and challenges that offer you a hands-on approach to learning sound design. At the time of making this video, Centorial retails for about $172.99 Canadian, which is equivalent to approximately 136 USD. You can find Centorial by heading over to the Centorial.com main page. Here you have the option of buying Centorial or trying it for free. I highly recommend you try it for free first before you commit to actually buying it. When you try it for free, you get access to the first 22 lessons in the series, which really gives you a taste of what Centorial is all about. If you like the free version, you can head on over here to the Buy Now button, click it, and it gives you the option to buy Centorial. What I really like about this is that if you scroll down, it gives you several different buying options. So you can pay in installments if you want to finance it, essentially. You can also get an educational discount if you're a student or a teacher. And one thing that I really like is it gives a discount to people with disabilities who may be living on reduced incomes. When you first open up Centorial, it looks a little something like this. You have a blue progress bar in the middle of your screen that shows how many lessons you've completed out of the lessons that are available. It also shows you what your next lesson is and gives you a start lesson button to immediately launch that lesson. On the left, you'll notice different chapters. There are currently 33 chapters within Centorial. Each of these chapters covers a different aspect of a synthesizer. Every chapter also contains a varying number of lessons. Notice here that some lessons are actually locked. Centorial doesn't let you progress to subsequent lessons until you've completed the lessons you're currently on. This is because Centorial builds on the knowledge that you learned from previous lessons. So moving on to the next lesson wouldn't make any sense if you didn't really understand anything that came before it. The blue bar to the right of the chapter name and the stars beside the lessons indicate how well you did on that specific lesson and the chapter overall. Notice here I got perfect in chapter number one, which is why my blue bar is full. However, in chapter number five, I didn't do so well. I got two stars, two stars, a couple of one stars, and only two three stars. Hence why my blue bar isn't all the way full like chapter one is. A chapter generally consists of these lesson videos. Saw and pulse waveforms. We begin in a section of the synth known as the oscillator. These are very informative and educational videos that teach you sound design using Centorial's built-in synthesizer. At the end of each lesson, all the way here, you are going to have to proceed to the challenge. Here, you have to recreate the sound presented by Centorial. You do this by clicking my patch here and editing the different parameters that are presented before you. When the sound matches up and you feel like you've got it right, click submit. Centorial grades your performance on how close you got the sound to the test sound. Remember, as you progress from chapter to chapter, the challenges will become more complicated. So challenges in chapter number seven are a lot more complicated than challenges in chapter number one. As you progress past chapter number one, you'll have access to what's called a group challenge. Group challenges require you to manipulate all of the parameters of the synth that you've learned thus far. So as you progress from chapter to chapter, you're gonna have more parameters that you have to manipulate in order to get the hidden sound. A group challenge in chapter two may look something like this, whereas a group challenge in chapter number seven will look something like this. You can notice that there's several more parameters that you have to manipulate in order to get that hidden sound. The reason for this is what I said before. Centorial builds on your knowledge that you've gained from previous chapters. Within a chapter, Centorial also has multiple choice quizzes. The questions aren't overly difficult, and it does give you the option to retry some questions at the end of the quiz should you get something wrong. If you click the drop down menu here and download lesson packs, Centorial also gives you access to expansions. Here, these expansions allow you to learn sound design on synthesizers other than the Centorial synth, such as Massive by Native Instruments, Serum, as well as a couple others. Centorial recommends that you use a good set of over ear headphones to clearly distinguish the differences amongst all the sounds. However, I was able to get away with using the speakers on my new 2021 MacBook Pro because the speaker system on this is an absolute beast. However, when I tried it out on my 2014 MacBook Pro, I couldn't hear the sounds properly and I had to resort to over-ear headphones. So unless your laptop has a really good set of speakers, I highly suggest you follow in line with what Centorial says and keep a good pair of over-ear headphones on hand. Every application has its pros and cons, and Centorial is no exception. In some instances, it can be hard to distinguish minute differences between the challenge sound and the sound you're creating. There are times when I was attempting challenges and the sound I came up with sounded really close to the challenge sound, even though it was one or two parameters off. 
Although in Centurial's defense, I feel like it takes a really good ear to distinguish the difference between a sawtooth wave and a very, very narrow pulse wave. One other slight con about Centurial is that the lessons don't sound very enthusiastic, and it gets tiring listening to the same synthesizer over and over and over again. There were times when I found myself falling asleep and I would have to stop, do something to wake myself up, and then get back into it. And now, for the pros, it works. I found myself instilled with synthesizer sound design knowledge. I really like the way Centorial teaches sound design in a really hands-on approach, and if my friend were to ask me should I download Centorial, I could safely recommend to them yes. While the full version is great, I highly encourage you to download the free version, take it for a test run, and see if you like it before you put your money into it. And folks, that's it for this video. Please make sure to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps out my channel a lot. Subscribe if you enjoy the content. Hit the bell notification icon if you want to get notified when I do post more content, and I will see you in the next one. Take care and have a great day.